coming up here, and then I've come across something real interesting. Something real fucking cool. I th Holy fucking shit! Hey, survivors, welcome back. So I've spent the night here on top of uh, popping pills. What I've done is organized my inventory a little more. Threw it all into this chest. You know what? I can even press that uh, sort button because it's not one of my permanent ones, and uh, I'm not too anal about it. But I've sorted out my inventory so that we can go and grab a little more. Uh, what we're going to do here is finish looting this pop and pills. We need seven more mechanical parts to make our workbench. Uh, so we're going to loot up the pop and pills. And then what we're going to do is go and search these cars that are around this area. Scrap them down. I don't think I searched that car. Uh, but we're going to scratch them. Uh, scratch them. Scrap them down because there's a few laying around. Uh, there's one there, one there. Um, I'm not really going to actually try to bother with that biome too much. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the roadway home and then scrap down some cars because I know cars drop mining helmets as well too. So I want to be searching up at this point as many cars as possible. Um, but at the same time, I really don't want to break down too many cars nearby because they are good loot bins as well too. So I might only scrap down the ones that are just frames and try to get those mechanical parts. Uh, but anyways, it's daytime. So let's get ourselves to business here. So I have all my stuff in here. I also went down. Uh, there's no zombies nearby. I grabbed my meat and stuck my meat up in Bob here again. So once again, Bob's holding my meat for me and I'll probably forget it there. But you know what? That's all right. Another thing I've done too before we go anywhere is I have learned workbench. Where did it go? Oh, I didn't learn workbench. Okay, I looked at it. What I meant to do was actually buy workbench. It's 15 points, but at least I'll be able to make it when I get back home. And then, you know what? I think a few more episodes will be grinding. I have to get better gear, better level, better weapons, and then come back to here because I'm honestly looking at those dogs and the whole thing, it's just, it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna flex and bust into here. Okay, so it looks like I forgot a few things in here. I just decided to whip in here and take a quick look. I think we got everything. Oh, you know what? We can actually break down this uh, filing cabinet here to get an extra part as well here too. Okay, awesome. Let's get this going. And if you guys haven't done so... Oh, wait. We already did that. Never mind. I didn't break it down all the way while I'm having a moment. But... If you guys haven't done so yet, hit that like button. Helps uh, promote the channel and supports your content creator. All right, so we got a few of these pill cases, I think, left to do. Are these empty? These are empty. I think all of these are empty as well here, too. I think we pretty much got them all. Oh, you have to be so close to them now to see that. You know what? I can kind of see maybe looting them up close, but at least give us the indication that we've already looted it. Oh, sweet, a beverage cooler. Uh, that we've already looted it from a distance. So that, that would be nice. It would be a little more easier to handle stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take those as well too. Because they don't have a use yet. Uh, but they still scrap down in the brass. And honestly in this balance. They'll be your main source of brass. Until console does get trader. And um, honestly guys. I, I do think you guys are going to be getting traders. Um, as well as new POIs coming up. Uh, there's been a few rumors floating around. But I, I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't say don't expect it, because uh, we had, what, summer update number one, is that? Oh, I thought that was a dog standing right there, I just, like, tripped myself right out. Okay, let's grab whatsoever's in this cooler. Oh, nice, another beer. I can never have too many of those. And what we got here? Oh, we got another medicine cabinet. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab the part from this, because it'll leave us scrapping down cars that are too close too often. Because cars are the best loop ins ever. They drop tools, they drop stuff like mining helmets. There we go. We got our one part. Uh, search this cabinet because we could probably use some food. I'm probably a little hungry. Uh, but I could eat the blood bags. Um, if, if, if it does come down to anything, all the blood bags I've grabbed from here, uh, we can eat those bad boys up. Uh, they give uh, five of each stat, actually. Oh, you know what? These are friggin' awesome as well, too. I'm going to use them up right away. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll wait till I have a second. Having to turn the flashlight on. <laughs> Look, there's another one right in there. Having to turn that flashlight on and off is actually a little bit annoying. Holy crap, I missed a lot of these pill cases on our initial run. Put the game down for a day and you forget a lot. Alright, what's going on over here? We are empty on these. Do we get these bad boys over here? Nope. I've got all the middle ones here. That's okay. Scavenging is up to level 12 now. Sick. That's important as well, too, because I do want a better chance at getting stuff. All right, what do we have here? Holy crap, do not bury your face in the pill case. 
Ah, there we go. Those are the blood bags I was talking about. Um, if you take a quick look at them, there we go. Um, you know what? We can actually eat one. Uh, they give five health, five fullness, and five hydration. So I actually do uh, don't mind eating those. In vitamins, um, they cure the shits. But honestly, I'm making goldenrod tea anyways, so um, I'll use that for that. And then grab these to increase my wellness. Ah, so we're up back up to 98 again. All right, so I have to try my best to not die. I mean, I am playing on survivalist. I did expect to die a few times. Um, Horde Knight was a little funny. I did not mean to do that, but ah, whatever. It's part of the game, right? I don't. Uh, I like to play well, but I can care less about being pro. All right, so I think we got everything we need from here. So let's go ahead and search these new uh, nearby cars here. We can search this blue sedan, and you know what? Ah, uh, I just this, this first layer though. It just gives you like leather and, and iron and really nothing good so i'm not gonna bother breaking those down because i need i still need a wrench until we make that uh that workbench we won't be able to get a wrench so let's see if this last layer will actually give us construction tools level 30 nice will actually give us mechanical parts maybe it will maybe it won't maybe we'll have to break it down all the way no no mechanical parts on that last level so i'm gonna give this a breakdown and see if we can uh come up with a me um a part out of one of the full Okay, there we go. We got a part. Um, so it's the middle level that gives you the mechanical parts. Oh, sick. We got a battery already, too. Nice. It would be nice to grab an engine as well, too. Oh, holy crap. Another part. Sick. So what I got to do is break down the cars that are halfway. We only need to find, like, maybe two more of them. And uh, they'll give me everything I need. Now, I'm going to go ahead and scrap all this stuff as well, too. Um, I can't wait till they bring the new inventory management system in. That's going to be sick. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to go back up top. I'm going to organize my inventory. And then I'm going to start my way home. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a run. So I'm going to head in that direction. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, because where I ended up actually getting ganked last time, uh, was right here. I had a whole bunch of uh, zombie dogs spawn in and come after me there. So I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut and head towards here. But um, try to try to catch up to the road down there and then start taking a look at cars. And hopefully we can find a mining helmet as well, too. That would be freaking awesome. Uh, but now we have a decent little stash here, and we are well on our way to getting a crafting table. Oh, sick. Yeah, we got ourselves a deer. Let's go give that bad boy a skinning. Uh, there's my hunting knife. I almost, forgot to, or almost thought I forgot to bring my hunting knife. Oh, good God. So this is definitely tr uh, proving to be a challenge of a, a balance with like the way the um, the arrows and everything arc. That's that's insane. Even with the iron arrows, um, they they still have quite a bit of arcs. So you know what? It, it kind of makes sense. So at first I was a little confused, but now I really appreciate that. Anyways, uh, where are we right now? I got distracted trying to hunt a deer. Okay, we're just off the roadway. Um, anyways, I'm gonna hop back on the road here and try to find some good loot. Or some good cars to break down for mechanical parts. Oh, look at that. Into the good biome. Oh, it's not snowing anymore. Awesome. Oh, shit. Another deer. Oh, nice. Holy crap. We just got lucky. Look at that. Didn't even notice us either. All I had to do was pull out my bow. And it, it just sat there and took it for me. That's freaking awesome. Thank you very much, deer. Oh, we're going to be good on um, on meat for a while now. Oh, look at this. We got a shopping cart right here and a half broken down car smushed into a broken down car right there. That's pretty sick. I'm going to break these down and see how much we get from it. Holy crap. So we got two from that shopping cart alone. So let's see if we can't uh, sneak up on this car here. And oh shit, he's going to know. He's totally going to notice us. He's walking right towards us. You know what? Uh, yeah, he has us. He has us. You know what, though? It's worth taking this guy down to get my last two mechanical parts. Oh, sick. We just leveled two. Is he dead? Is he dead? Always double tap. Make sure. Yep, yeah, we're good to go. Okay, give us something good. He gave us a... Ooh, a puffer coat. You know what? I might take that just for its warmth. Just in case. Because we seem to be getting cold in the biome I'm in, too. So that's always good. Let's go ahead and get our last two mechanical parts off of this car. Oh, that sucked. We didn't get any mechanical parts that time around. Oh, well, I guess it is what it is, and we'll just uh, kind of move on from there. 
Oh, look, some brass to scrap. I will... Oh, I have to have the free slot in my inventory. Never mind. Okay, anyways, let's continue on and find another car. Okay, so I've hit up three cars coming up here, and then I've come across something real interesting. Something real fucking cool. I... Th Holy fucking shit! No way, no way there's another city right here. There's a city here, there's a city here, and there's a city here. And this city looks like it's in a winter biome, which is completely manageable. No friggin' way. I am so pumped right now. You guys have no idea. This is like a Ludapalooza right here, because we won't have to deal with any fucking dogs. And it looks like it's winter all over the place. Those lumberjacks, they're not too tough, and not a lot of them spawn, so... Holy crap. And look at this. Look at this. We got like, oh my god, we got more meats. Holy shit, guys. The game just got a lot better for us. I'm pretty pumped about this. I was getting pretty choked because I took out three cars and I wasn't getting anything out of them. And I'm like, oh shit, my wrench is like getting really broke here. What am I going to do? And then I come across this place. So let's go take a look, guys. Those shopping carts seem to be the ones that really put out. Yeah, because, like, the spawns aren't bad. They're just, they're just the lumberjacks, and they're they're easy to avoid for the most part. Um, I don't know if that place has any air conditioners. Air conditioners are pretty much a guaranteed thing as well here, too. Uh, let's just hope this city has... Oh, a fucking store right here. Nice. We can run up the back. Um, what, do you, what even is it? You know what? Which one? I think this is a gun store. I think we just found a fucking gun store. Oh, nice. Our whole next episode, guys, is set up for us big time. Oh, this is awesome. Shotgun Messiah. No fucking way. There's a shotgun Messiah right here. This is pretty, pretty fucking awesome. Holy crap. And I'm full on loot. I almost just... Yeah, and I'm stinky as fuck, so I'm getting, getting a lot of zombie attention. Uh, so what I, I'm going to do here is... I'm going to try getting on the rooftop. We'll break down... Oh, my bad. We're right in front of one here. Uh, we'll start... Uh, we'll break down this back air conditioner. And then if they actually do make it up here, we'll just run by them and then go back downstairs. But this is fucking sick, guys. We're going to have a workbench. We have a whole city to come loot that's not infested with dogs. Oh, my God. I couldn't have asked for a whole better episode. I am incredibly pumped right now. So please give us the parts we need. Come on, mechanical parts. Are you serious? I haven't seen one drop yet. There is one. Nice. All we need is one more, and then we have that workbench. And then I, then I can make these wrenches, and we don't have to fucking worry. Okay. Let's take this bad boy out here, and it should give us at least one. Oh, crap. Okay, they're making it up here. So what I'm going to do is actually use this like a... Um, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? The, you know you know when they have the weasels pop up, and you hit them in the head? Yeah, that thing. I just can't think of the damn name right now. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, she can chill out down there. Um, let's go ahead and break this bad boy down and get a last piece. You better put out air conditioner. Imagine my wrench broke. Just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I have to go search for a whole new wrench again? Come on. There we go. There we go. We got our 20 mechanical parts. When I'm going to do... Oh, no way. There's an airdrop right there, too. Um, what I'm going to do here, then, is we're not far from home at all. Like, look, look, look how close we are to home. It's not a huge city, but it's perfect. It's what I need. Um, so what I'm going to do is head home, uh, dump off all my stuff, and then we're going to make the workbench. And then, god damn, there's so much to do now that I found this place. Uh, there's a few down there now. Okay. Um, is there a dumpster or something I can jump onto back here? Uh, there's that light. Oh, here's a dumpster. Cool. Oh shit! I did bra I did spray my leg. Wow, usually you don't, uh... Maybe this building's a little taller than the other ones, but that's always what I usually do is jump on the dumpsters, and, um, I'm usually fine. Slick, look at that, guys. So we got a sick friggin' city to loot. Uh, we have a workbench to make. Let's go back home and, uh, make- do some progression here. Get some progression done. Oh, look at that! Another deer even. Holy crap, guys. We are on a roll here for luck. Oh my god. Oh, even a little piggy too. That is friggin' awesome. And I got my archery skills up to level 12. Holy crap. I'm gonna be busy on the overnight just catching up with my skill levels and crap. Okay, guys. So let's start off by eating a jar of honey I had stashed here so we can get rid of our infection. Nice. There we go. Perfect. And now we can actually go ahead... 
and make ourselves some food. Do I only have four eggs? Oh, well, I guess we're only going with a couple of bacon and eggs. And then what we'll do is make a handful of uh, grilled meat because I really don't want to use it all up right now. I'd rather um, hit up some bird's nest and get some eggs and make some bacon and eggs than just use the grilled meat. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and make some extra goldenrod tea as well, too. We're going to make four of those. Um, I guess um, I got a lot of organizing to do guys like a ton of organizing. You know what? I'm gonna even make some red tea as well, too, because we got we got water bottles. We got glass jars We got everything going like mad. So I'm gonna go ahead Stash that in there and go and put down there put away the rest of our stuff And then we'll get whatever we need uh, together for the workbench Okay, so we needed more forged iron for our workbench here. I was just taking a look at the recipe We definitely have the mechanical parts. We have the wrench. We have the hammer uh, we have the wood, we just need to wait on um, half the forged iron, which shouldn't take too long. We are, actually had some already queued up here, and I had turned this thing off. Now, without thinking, I should have actually left this running um, so that we can, you know, it wouldn't have been any thing to the heat map <laughs> you guys know what i'm trying to say like if you're not if you're, the chunk's not loaded the heat map doesn't really progress so it's not like you come back to a thousand zombies standing around your base um because you had everything going right so that's usually when i do like to uh, to have my forges and stuff running for a long time is when i go off and do stuff as well too especially if i don't want to take the time out to take out all the zombies but sometimes i like having the screamer hordes so i'll stay around i actually can't wait to use the other base for the uh the horde screamer base i think that would be pretty cool okay so we got our hammer uh we got our wrench and we got everything we need to make our workbench oh wow that was uh that was some pretty good rhymes there guys my bad all right so we're gonna wait for that to get made and then i guess i'm gonna have to make some new tools here as well too but that's okay uh i should actually pump some clay into this okay so our next goal here is steel smithing and as you can see, steel smithing is locked. That's because it's behind construction tools level 40. Uh, now, if we take a look, because we've already done a lot of building and I did a decent amount of gathering with my um, stone axe, we've gotten construction tools level up to 30. Uh, but we still have some to go. So what I think I'm going to do to get my construction tool levels up is I'm actually going to go ahead and use the rest of my stuff I got kicking around. Like I got some cobblestone rocks. Um, gathering this really now is not much of a challenge, um, especially that I'm working my way towards steel. Uh, we'll have steel, we'll have better weapons and tools and stuff. I haven't really been uh, doing any axe grinding or tool grinding lately. I find once you get to a certain level, uh, just making your tools constantly, it levels you up well enough and then you can just ignore spam gr uh, grinding. Uh, they took it out completely in Alpha 16 and that's um, having to do that, so it's actually really nice. All you do is invest um, some XP in the levels and you gain like 25 um, levels a better tool if that makes any sense but let's go ahead and place our crafting table down here and this guys is where you can find all your stuff like your steel tools you make your steel pickaxes in here um you can find your stuff like lighting what's the lighting going to be under here definitely not basics <laughs> i think decor is where it's going to be under so you can make your stuff like lockers oh wow you make lockers you can make mailboxes what else can we make up in here? You can make some store shelves. That's pretty cool. Um, you can make vent ducts. Wait, we could always make those. <laughs> Good old memory. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, a beverage cooler. You can make one of those up. Why not? Oh, look at that. A cooler, a toilet. Holy shit. Fancy toilet. There's a lot in here you can make. Um, your, your new ceiling lights with the switches. This is where you make them. They're actually really easy to make. You know what? I think we have enough to make this. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a first light and light it up in here and take our torches away because the more light you have, the light sources, the laggier your game is going to get. Uh, so I, I choose to go with like one bright light source and then just leave it there, right? And those lights are actually pretty damn good. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look for all my random components and stuff just kicking around. Um, I should get some nails going as well too so that... Oh, you know where I, I, I know I jammed a whole bunch of it? Is in here here we go we got some scrap plastics that's for lighting we got that we got our iron nice so we got workbench we got our lights going on here today um, I do prefer oh wait do we not have enough for the other one where is it here commercial light what do we not have enough of oh we need some more forged steel okay that's okay let's grab some up here uh, perfect nice oh you know what 
I'm gonna get the nails queued up because we need some nails. We need some iron arrowheads as well too. So I'm gonna make, um, you know what? I'm gonna go with 100 of these. Because that'll give us like 10 boxes worth of uh, nails. Perfect. And then uh, we're going to make some iron arrowheads. A bunch of those. No point in making the new uh, or the old arrows because the arc on those are so bad. They don't go very far at all. Alright. So. Uh, I'm See? Old, old stuff. Before they added this in. I played this game before they added this crap in. So I'm going to actually make a batch of 250. That way I can just take a, a stack of arrows and make them. Perfect. There we go. And we'll just let that keep going. Alright. So we're going to go back in here and we are going to make our commercial light. That's pretty slick. Oh, what? Ceiling light switch? What do we not have? Oh, electronic components. Shit. Am I out of those? No freaking way. Oh, you know what? I think we ran out of those last time as well, too. I'm going to have to go out once we get steel with a wrench again and get a whole bunch of components. Oh, boy. Ah, it is what it is, though. So, um... I used my wrench, so I can't even wrench down anything we have in here. You know what? We can, we can go with the, the plain old um, ceiling light 0-2 switch. That one only takes forged iron and electrical parts. Oh, wow. We can actually make a few of those. Let's craft one, two, three of them. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I was getting excited there, and I, I let myself um, get overheated. Whoops. My bad. Uh, what we need to do now is make some storage boxes as well, too, because I, I really need to get my stuff organized. Um, I'm usually not this bad, but it, it's pretty bad right now. So I'm going to make a couple of these. Uh, we're going to have some food storage. We're going to have some health stuff storage and um, maybe two weapons, one for parts. No, you know what? We only need one of those for now. Perfect. And then we have some nails left over for when we have to make some more boxes. Um, I always forget to make nails all the time. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and put my building supplies right next to my forge and everything. And then I can put the rest of my supplies against this back wall. Uh, but what I should probably do and what I need to do anyways is... Um, uh, oops. Oh, I need just clay to do that. Damn it, I forgot about that. It's a different upgrade pattern in Alpha 16 now. Did I use up all my clay in here? Uh, no, but you know what? I'll let that go and then go and grab some clay later because we could could do some digging. But here we go. We got the lights going on. Sweet. Nice. There we go. Let's get one of these bad boys on the ceiling and turn her on. Nice. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Perfect. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this torch. Oh my god. There's so much progression in this episode, guys. I'm pumped about this. Look how much nicer the light is than the friggin' torch light. Look how much nicer that is. One light, and it does a job. It's actually really a perfect circle. I kind of like that. Um, now, I might... These might, guys, just as a note, these may um, increase your, your heat map. I'm not sure yet, though. Uh, we'll find out if I install a bunch of these and have nothing else running, and we end up getting a bunch of screamers. Oh, you know what? I could put one right up on the ceiling in here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I can't turn it on now. Damn it! Damn it. Uh, we could build a few ladders. That'll solve our problem. We can even get, use a ladder to get up and down there. Okay, there we go. We got our switch done. Uh, so, guys, what I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing is nerd pulling with frames up and down stuff. Uh, so, what I've been doing lately is just throwing ladders on crap. Like, now i got a way to go up and, and turn my light on and off without having to carry frames and stuff around with me. Um, it's not because I think it's a bad habit or I think you shouldn't do it. It's just a personal thing. It's like a little bit of a challenge I've been trying to do later lately. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and actually grab some of this food up, put into my tool belt so I can eat it and I'm gonna go and grab some clay so I can actually do some upgrading of the walls on the overnight here hey guys so I'm out digging clay right and know how I told you the other day that you get the um, uh, the the grass on top well there is no grass on top of this but I'm breaking it down and I'm getting one grass fiber each that is really 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 weird Ah, whatever, it is what it is, and it's a good way to get those, I guess. Especially if you're building with cobblestone, it kind of goes hand in hand, right? If you're tearing down the clay, you're doing it because you need um, to make cobblestone and stuff. Uh, so anyways, we should have a large amount by now. We have 1,724. Yeah, we have a good amount. Um, so 
what I've done is I've come over here and started digging this out a bit because it's where our base is. I actually went and ran over to one close by, not even thinking, and started wailing on that one. And I was like, wait, if I'm going to be digging, I may as well make some progress, right, and go over there. Clay is one of the easiest resources to gather, like hands down. It is so, so easy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take a look because I ate both my foods, but we're still a little hungry here. Uh, let's see if we can't get that wellness up a little bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat. Oh, nice. Nah, some tasty, tasty meat. Uh, you know what? We do have a lot of meat on us, so I'm going to go ahead and just eat one more and try to push myself. There we go. We're up to 102 now. And on top of that, I have some more golden rods, so I can go ahead and get the star the wellness from that perfect awesome so i have a lot of upgrading to do in this house um it kind of looks like this light here is almost too high uh because it's, it's still pretty dark in here <laughs> so those lights actually do have a little bit of a range on them so lesson learned um you know what i'll probably end up building something up there anyways like another floor or something um so it's not that big of a deal i'll tuck a few of these torches i guess still on the background perfect there we go there we go. Good balance of light. Not too bright, not too dark. Nice and ominous. I love it. Um, this actually has to come out because I took out the fireplace downstairs. Completely demolished it. I was like, fuck the fireplace. Everyone always uses it, and I'm like, fuck it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here, guys, and I'm going to... Uh, Spend the uh, spend the night upgrading all my stuff. Oh, that's right. It upgrades to Adobe. I was like, what the fuck is that? That sounds a little weird, too, just hearing that odd, odd sound of it. Oh, and then the next level, of course, is concrete. Um, we need to go out and get ourselves a engine or something very soon. Uh, once we have the steel and we can upgrade our stuff, we are good to go. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Stay classy, always survive, and thank you for liking and sharing the video, guys. It really does help. Have a good one. Peace out.